Speaking of chauffeurs, okay, there is a rover on the moon that did some chauffeuring of itself. I don't know. <laughs> this is the look I'm giving you right now. <laughs> this is the appropriate look to give me right now. <laughs> That's my Robert De Niro face. <laughs> I have no close, idea. I, I have no idea how to get out of this, but let's let's move on. <laughs> uh, yeah. So some green so, goo on the moon. We have well, any okay. So a while back, China's U two two rover landed on the moon, on the far side mm-hmm. of the moon, which is kind of kind of cool because I don't. That might be the first rover mm-hmm. on the far side. For yeah. people that are wanting to Google that, it's U two as in Y U T U dash. The two. number two. Yeah. 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 <laughs> not U22, not U4. It's not like two Bonos. This is like. Yeah. <laughs> they landed Bono on the moon. And Bono immediately found what they called uh, a gel like substance. And of course, some people are calling it moon snot <laughs> or space snot. Um, and of course, this, this, a lot of speculation on this, and people went nuts and trying to figure it out. They called it a gel like substance. Uh, Basically, it is glass, is what it is. It's, they call it impact melt breccia or bre- mm-hmm. breccia, breccia. Yeah, breccia sounds right. I think. Um, yeah. So, so the regolith on the moon is basically, um, it's kind of like sand in the sense that, like, if you melt it down, it'll turn into glass, right? So, uh, in some of these impact craters and these places where stuff has hit, it melts that regolith and it turns it into these little blobs of melted glass and. Uh, so that's what that was. And and the reason I find that interesting is, you know, we're, we're talking about, um, you know, going back to the moon and setting up moon bases and lots more landings and whatnot. Uh, one of the ideas for creating a spot to land, like a landing pad, basically, is to kind of just uh, take a big uh, iron of sorts and just go up there and melt down some regolith so that you got a nice little, you know, it, it might be sort of glass, but a, a hard surface to land on that can give you a, a landing pad, basically. Mm-hmm. Or um, you can build uh, structures with it that yeah. way, by melting it down. So that's like the bigger picture part of it. But uh, hmm. yeah, I mean, they, they know what the moon snot is now. <laughs> it's just melted rock. And it's still exciting. I, mean, I think that's really cool. You know, people, I'm sure are a little bit, some people out there probably say it's not aliens pooping or whatever. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that, that seems to be consistent with what I think most of us kind of assumed. <laughs> yeah. Which is, but that's cool though. Says the meteorite impact is likely suspect glasses and the lunar regolith are usually sourced from impact melts or from volcanic eruptions, but this was probably an impact. It's awesome. So. Yeah. I don't yeah. think, is there a volcano in there somewhere? What's the, what's at the core of the moon? Once upon a time. Cheese. Like we all Isn't that the hope it? is that they'll find some lava tubes that you could set up and and do uh, do uh, bases inside of caves, oh, protected right. from the solar radiation and cosmic rays and stuff. That's the answer. I, I think so. That's definitely like kind of the, the yeah the leading theory for the moon and Mars is like find find lava tubes yeah. basically yeah like pre pre dug out tubes get in there put a seal on it moon base. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.